Welcome to the Incentivized Shade Testnet. Today, we're going to walk you through connecting your Testnet wallet to Pulsar and then seeding your wallet as well as interacting with the Shade app on Testnet. So the first step is to go into your Kepler wallet and exit out of any previous Testnet connections. You can just scroll all the way down to those network connections. Make sure you've canceled that out. Once you've you know, deleted any previous testnet connections, the next step is to add the Pulsar testnet to Kepler. You can do this by clicking on the Add Pulsar button on this web page here. This web page that helps you configure testnet is linked in the description below. Go ahead and approve that connection. Once you've approved that connection to testnet though, you have one last key step, which is to go back to Kepler one more time and on that network selector at the top, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select Secure Secrets Pulsar. Once you've confirmed that you've uh, connected uh, to Pulsar, the next step is to seed your testnet wallet with Secret so you can actually use the app. Go ahead and navigate to faucet.pulsar.secrettestnet.com, copy your testnet address from Kepler, and paste that into the faucet right here. Once again, this will be linked in the description below, but paste your testnet wallet address there. Go through the I'm not a robot verification, and once you've successfully done this, congratulations, you will have received some secret on testnet to start uh, to use the Shade app. Now, the next key step here is to navigate to the uh, Shade testnet once you've confirmed you've received that secret. Uh, the password for the Shade testnet is Spartan117, and you'll go to testnet.shadeprotocol.io. Uh, that link is once again in the description below. Enter in that password, and you'll end up on the Shade app uh, itself, testnet. Connect your wallet, and you know once you've connected your wallet, you'll see the Shade app before you. Uh, the swap interface will not be available for testing until uh, Monday, uh, January, I believe it's 29th or the 30th. But in advance of that, you'll be able to test all the other functionality on the app for bugs to earn rewards. Uh, the first step to do this is go to the wrap page and convert some of your secret to secret secret. This is a very important step because on Shade Swap, uh, it only deals in step 20s, it doesn't deal with regular secret. So be sure to convert some secret to secret secret in advance of the shade swap testing. And from here, as you traverse the bonds page, the derivatives page, any of the pages, um, you can create a bug in the uh, bottom right corner by clicking on the support uh, button. You'll see here I'm running through creating the viewing key for secret secret and what, what that will look like for some of you. But long and short, play around with the app, look for bugs, and if you find anything, you can submit a bug in the Discord um, testing and feedback chat to qualify uh, for the Great Hunt competition to earn shade rewards, and also you can enter in bugs by entering bug into the support portal in the bottom right hand corner. Click on report a bug and go ahead and tell us what you found on testnet that was broken. This could be styling with CSS, this could be a certain type of functionality not working. Um, go ahead and submit those bugs. Thank you for participating in the Shade Incentivized Testnet.